Hello everyone, in our previous video we gives an idea of how to write a research paper from the code implementation. In that video we use the stock market prediction code as an example. Today I am going to explain you the working of this code. First of all, you have to understand one thing that in every machine learning or deep learning code we have to follow the proper sequence of steps like data collection, data pre-processing, train test split, choosing an appropriate machine learning or deep learning model, train that model, do prediction and evaluate that model. So here, first of all, I'm, on, I'm importing all necessary libraries. In the second cell, I'm reading data. I use data from various company. You can also use any open source data set. Next step is data exploration, where we try to understand what type of data we have, how many columns have null values, and how many values are duplicate. The data set we are using have over 5600 rows and 7 columns, except date or all columns are of numeric data type. These are some statistic calculation of our data set. And fifth cell we are visualizing our data by using matplot library visualization gives you the better understanding of data like here we are plotting daily return percentage and daily trade and what what type of data we have next step is data preprocessing which is an important step in any machine learning or deep learning code here we clean our data remove duplicate values and fill null values every machine learning and deep learning model take data in numeric format therefore if our data have any any other format uh, we have to do an encoding in our case are all data in numeric format so there is no need of data encoding in sixth cell the here we are filling a null value with the mean of each column. So with this step we are done with the pre-processing step. Next step is to split our data into training and testing data set. We use this data for model training and evaluation. Here we are taking open as a target variable and all other column as a independent variables after splitting we have 80% of training data and 20% of test data then we are reshaping data into a required format now we have data the next step is to choose the model i am using hybrid model which is a combination of cnn and, and e gru deep with you can use any machine learning or deep learning model according to your data and according to your requirements. This TensorFlow library is a deep learning library which provides many deep learning features. In this hybrid deep learning model, I have three layers of CNN, one max pooling layer, then I have one layer of GRU, and I have dropout layer with the uh, ratio 0.5. This is to reduce the problem of overfitting, to know more about overfitting issue in neural network and how to resolve this issue using dropout layer. Please watch our next video where we will explain each and everything about this topic in detail. Then I am adding one dense layer. So here my model is ready. Here I am fitting or training my model by using the training data. Total number of run is 5, batch size is 200, Burroughs has value 1. After training, you can see the value of uh, validation loss, uh, training loss, mean scared error, mean absolute error with each run. So this is the graph which showing training loss and validation loss with each run these are decreasing by each run which is good sign then this is the summary of my hybrid model at last we are evaluating our model by using test data set 
This is how you can predict stock market data by using deep learning model. Don't forget to watch our next video to resolve the problem of uh, overfitting in neural network. Thank you.